Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. According to the Center for, D for Disease Control and Prevention, 30.3 million people in the U.S. have diabetes. Mm. Let me make this number even more real for you. That's nearly 10% mm. of the U.S. Mm. population. Well, Dr. Jen is here today to break these numbers down even further and also fill us in on the signs and prevention. So welcome, please. Dr. Jen, Yay, thank welcome you. back. Thank, thank you. Welcome back. You're so pretty. Aww, okay, you, you know, uh, when I was growing up, I would always hear my aunts call it the sugar. The, the sugar. sugar. That's yes. what it's called. I got sugar. Yes. Mm -hmm. and so diabetes, yeah. they called it the sugar. The, the sugar. sugar. That's, that's, that's you know, what it is. Uh, right. Right. Tell, tell, tell us what having diabetes means. Right, so, um, and I'm glad we're talking about this because a lot of my patients still call it the sugar and I still have relatives that call it the sugar too. It's called, or we, we've called it the sugar because it's a problem with our blood sugar. That's yeah. what the problem with diabetes yes. is. And the real issue is, especially for type two diabetes, there's different types, but we're gonna focus yes. on type two, yes. which is the type that, with the numbers that we just talked yes. about that many of us have. Um, the problem is that there's too much sugar in our blood and not where it's supposed to be, which is in the cells. And you say, well, how did it get there? The problem is insulin. Our insulin's not working the right way, plus we may be eating too many foods that have sugars in them. Mm -hmm. So that combination allows our, our body to be overloaded and you get too much sugar in the blood. That's why we call diabetes the sugar. Now, yeah. you, you just touched on it a little bit, but break down very quickly type one, type two, yeah. because there is a difference, there is. Uh, a huge difference. That's right. That one is unavoidable if That's you're right. born with it. The other there is adaptable. That, th so, thank yes. you, doctor. Well, thank I'm you. just saying. <laughs> but, the people, but the people need to know from a doctor's yes. point of Same view. But you know, yes. but you're exactly right. So there are different types of diabetes: type one, type two, even gestational diabetes. Yes. Many women out there who've given birth, birth maybe yeah. were diabetic mm -hmm. only when they were pregnant. pregnant yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. um, there's other types of diabetes. So type one, you're right, is unavoidable. People are born with it. It's an autoimmune condition where the body does not make insulin. Mm. Insulin is a hormone that's made in the pancreas, yes. and that's the hormone that we need to put sugar in its place, so mm -hmm, to speak, mm -hmm. and to keep it out of the blood and keep it in the right spots. Mm -hmm. So those people aren't born with it, it's autoimmune. They usually mm. are diagnosed earlier than those yeah. with type two. Child type two. two is an issue where, yeah, we have an insulin problem, but it's not that our body doesn't make it. Maybe our body doesn't make it as well or use it as well, but the other part is what we're taking in, what we're eating, and not exercising. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? It, yes, so type two is more of a lifestyle, yes. genetic you know, type of thing. Type one is genetic, but it's, it's autoimmune, you're born with it. Who's at risk for type two, yes. and is it reversible? Thank you for asking that, that's one of the first things my patients ask me because a lot of people think of this as not to be scary but a lot of people think of this as a death sentence yes. first of all diabetes is not a death sentence you can live a very happy healthy life with diabetes but risk factors for type 2 are let's just talk about the, the elephant in the room being african-american being black period off the top and it's let's see it's our last one on the list but I'm talking about it first because it is just by virtue of being black it is a risk factor, okay? Wow. Oh. Right, so we are at risk just because of our skin color. Being overweight, uh, age of over 30, uh, excuse me, 45, um, family history, if you have people in your family, mm -hmm. not exercising, things like that. But it's a condition that really runs in our communities. Mm. It's, it's in it's our like communities. Oh. Well, <laughs> so some of it, so it's not just African Americans, but we saw Alaska Natives, et cetera. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a racial, cultural thing that goes a little bit beyond diet. But yes, diet makes a big difference. Okay, well, I have, I have two questions yeah. for you and they, yeah. they kind of go in tandem sure. the first one is how are you borderline diabetic because okay. we always hear that whole yes. that, that borderline. borderline and how do you what, what are the telltale signs that you might be at risk for, mm. diabetes? for diabetes okay so borderline diabetes is you're not fully diabetic well so let me put this another way it you understand because it's I like you. hey how are you you're, right. you're, you're, you're almost there are you not you're not, but right? you're not there yet but you right. could be almost right. <laughs> Yeah, but too so, much of the sugar. But, okay. so, but this is the thing. That's exactly what it is. So diabetes, how you're diagnosed is you go to the doctor, you get blood tests done, and we tell you. Now, I'm going to jump to the severe symptoms. If you've got severe type 2 diabetes, you might have increased thirst, increased urination. There may be other signs, okay? And mm -hmm. um, we got those up there. These are very severe signs of diabetes that if you're way, way over the top, you may have these. But you don't have to have these to have diabetes. And so you go to your doctor and you get a lab test. So pre-diabetes, you say, 84 million people have prediabetes. Oh my goodness. That's one in three. Now what that is, is your sugars are not at the level to be called diabetic. There is a threshold that once you get over that threshold, but 
they're higher than normal. And we have strict cutoffs, okay? We want your fasting sugar to be less than 100. Mm -hmm. And if your fasting sugar is between 100 and 126, that's borderline. Mine and was 84. And, and well, that's <laughs> just, fantastic. I just had my, 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 Did you? my blood down. It yeah, that's very important. Right important. I hate to cut you off. I, I have to yeah. ask this Sorry. question because we all know that frequent urination is one of the mm. telltale signs. Of severe. Of severe. Se okay. But, you know, there are some nights where you just go to the bathroom too right. much. It's like I'm, I went to the restroom like every hour. Like, okay. what's going on in <laughs> my don't, life right don't now? Don't get all freaked out about that because let's say if you drank a lot before you, like, drank a lot of water or something before or you some went alcohol, to bed uh -huh. or some alcohol or whatever you might have done, that might have you go into the bathroom. So, one night of that, don't get all worried about or that. Or two, don't get all worried about that. But make sure you get your checkups. That's what we want everyone to do because we Ooh. should have regular <sighs> lab work to be checking on this. I was like, Lord, I got diabetes. I'm no. going to the bathroom uh -huh. too much. <laughs> Necessarily. Last question, yes. Dr. Jan. Yes. For people who have been diagnosed with diabetes, yes. and you know how African Americans, we're, we're known for not wanting to take medication, take especially older African Americans. Yes. And what advice ones. would you give to them as far okay. as not taking the medication prescribed? What is the risk of doing that? Okay. I got so much to say, but I'm okay. gonna be real quick. Ten seconds. The risk yeah, of diabetes, seconds. heart disease, um, eye problems, kidney problems, limb problems. But let me say this to our people: Look, just because you've been diagnosed with diabetes does not mean you can't get rid of it. Mm. Yeah. So if you lose weight, exercise, eat the right thing, you can actually get rid of your diabetes. Wow. Okay, and not take medications, and you don't have to be started on insulin. A lot of people worry that if they have to take medications, it's going to be insulin. There are plenty of pills out there, so please don't be afraid. That's wow. amazing. And just like you can get rid of diabetes. Diabetes, you can get rid of a man with liabilities. <laughs> so, Dr. Jen, thank you so much for joining us today to get more info from Dr. Jen about diabetes and liabilities and so much more. Okay. Please check out her website, drjencaudle.com, C-A-U-D-L-E, as well as her YouTube channel, Dr. Jen Caudle.